<clears throat> Mr. Speaker, this coming Sunday is New Year's Day, the start of the federal government's 2018 fiscal year. Several weeks ago, Congress passed and the President signed a temporary spending bill to carry the government through December 8th. This temporary bill was necessary because although the House passed its spending bills, the Senate did not. One of the more glaring problems with the CR is that it continues the years-long years practice of shortchanging our defenses and the men and women in our military. Defense spending and defense policy are frozen, and the changes this House has insisted on in both the National Defense Authorization Act and the Defense Appropriations Bill are stalled to the detriment of our defenses and our men and women in uniform. Secretary has written, quote, long-term CRs impact the readiness of our forces and their equipment at a time when security threats are extraordinarily high. The longer the CR, the greater the consequences for our force. The risks are, the risks are real, Mr. Speaker. We see threats growing daily from North Korea and Iran. The fight continues against ISIS and against terror in Afghanistan. And now we need to deploy urgently needed resources to Puerto Rico. We, there is no need to wait till December 8th to get a full year defense appropriations bill. I call on the Senate to act promptly next week even and get our troops funded. With that, Mr. Speaker, I yield.